Kamala Harris is, oh, Harris is the first black and South Asian American woman to be on the major party's ticket for vice president. And it's been a moment of pride for her extended family in India. Niha Punia with more. Kamala Devi Harris, a child of immigrant parents who could become the next vice president of the United States. Her nomination has sparked a frenzy in India due to her Indian roots and some of her old videos have been rediscovered and shared widely on social media as proof of her Indianness. But none has been prouder than her family in India. Her uncle, Dr. Gopalan Balachandran, who lives in New Delhi, believes her Indian heritage has played a key role in shaping her values. But he's sad his sister Shamala Harris, who's Kamala's mother, isn't alive to see her make history. All that they are today is because of Shamala. Only thing she impressed on them was, whatever you do, it should have some public good. It should have the fault. That's why neither of them became private lawyers. Both of them as public lawyers, okay? That, and she used to take them when she was a student, the civil rights movement, she used to take both the children in the strollers. Shamala Harris was born in Chennai in southern India, but she moved to the U.S. as a 19-year-old student. It's there that she made a career as a cancer researcher while raising Kamala and her sister Maya as a single parent. Kamala Harris has often spoken of the pivotal role her mother played in her life. Growing up, whenever I got upset about something, my mother would look me in the eye and ask, so what are you going to do about it? Dr. Balachandran describes Kamala Harris as a feisty youngster and explains how during her annual trips to Chennai, she spent a lot of time with her grandfather. And his views on justice and democracy have shaped Kamala's outlook on life. So they, they used to ask him questions, very inquisitive, why this, why not that, things like that. And he used to tell them. So I think they imbibed a lot of spirit and values from him. Okay, that way he was greatly influenced. Kamala's last visit to India was in 2009 when she returned with her mother's ashes, but her uncle says she remains close to her mother's side of the family. It's this connection to India that's ignited a rare, almost personal interest in the American presidential race here. This sign, hailing Kamala's nomination, was put up by locals in her mother's home state of Tamil Nadu. But even as many Indians celebrate having representation in the American presidential race, storm clouds could gather over the Indo-US relationship. Experts warn that Kamala Harris as the vice president of the United States could ruffle some feathers here in New Delhi. She's been very vocal in her criticism of the Modi government following the revocation of Kashmir's special status. Past her statements and pronouncements would have an impact in terms of India assessing what uh, what Biden uh, Harris uh, uh, you know administration might do uh, in the future. But I think there is no doubt that uh, that uh, the ability of uh, America or any any other country to shape Indian position on Kashmir is today uh, you know uh, very very limited. Some supporters of Mr. Modi's party have criticized her stance on Kashmir, calling her a sellout, but her family says her win will only strengthen Indo-US ties and could also mean some unexpected perks for them. If she becomes the vice president, I may get to visit the White House without standing in queue, okay? <laughs> That's all, okay? That I can meet the vice president, Biden. Indian Americans form one of the largest immigrant populations in America and Kamala's background could undercut President Donald Trump's efforts to woo Indian American voters. But whether she makes it to the White House or not, many Indians say Kamala Harris has already made history and she's brought India to the foreground of American consciousness. Neha Punya, CNA, New Delhi.